I would like to first of all appreciate the friendship and support that members of the U.S. Congress have offered to my oppressed compatriots across the country. I would also like to thank you for your support and solidarity with the combatants of freedom at Camp Liberty in Iraq. Lately, the clerical regime has stepped up violations of human rights in Iran. It has dramatically intensified executions, including public executions. It has been attacking and harassing political prisoners uh, on the one hand and on the other. It has stepped up the inhuman siege of Camp Liberty. Starting a few weeks ago and on the eve of the nuclear agreement, we officially warned the U.S. Secretary of State, the U.N. Uh, Secretary General and other officials involved that the Iranian regime has demanded the government of Iraq to intensify its repressive measures and the siege on Camp Liberty. We urge the officials' intervention to prevent this situation, but they have not adopted any measures in this regard. In fact, the mullahs were forced to accept the nuclear agreement out of total weakness. Uh, growing popular opposition to the regime, uh, the resistance's uh, disclosure against the regime, and the impact of international sanctions compelled them uh, to come to the negotiating table. Uh, in the first hours after the announcement of the nuclear agreement between the Mullahs and uh, the P5 plus 1, groups of people took to the streets uh, of Tehran demanding freedom, citizen rights, and freedom of political prisoners. Contrary uh, to the propaganda of the Iranian regime and its lobbies in the West, the Iranian people oppose the Mullah's nuclear program. The Mullah's claim that the nuclear program is considered a, a national pride is a a great lie. We are proud of exposing the Mullah's nuclear program uh, and will continue to do so because it is absolutely against the interests of the Iranian people. Simultaneous uh, with the nuclear agreement and in addition uh, to the violation of human rights and suppression of Camp Liberty, the Iranian regime has expanded and intensified its meddling in the region. On July 18, Khamenei said, whether uh, or not uh, the agreement is ratified, we will not abandon supporting our friends in the region, in Syria, Iraq, Bahrain, Lebanon, and Palestine. He added, the US policies uh, in the region are 180 uh, degrees different from those of the Islamic Republic. The message is very clear, continued and stepped up killing of the people in Syria, Iraq, and other countries in the region. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, today, after two years, uh, we have an agreement before us, which should not have violated six UN Security Council resolutions. It should have pursued dismantling the illegal nuclear program of the Mullah's regime and left no opportunity for Mullah to engage once again in deception. Nevertheless, this reluctant retreat by the clerical regime, which violated a number of Khamenei's red lines, will upset the regime's balance and undermine the religious dictatorship. It will intensify regime's internal crisis in all respects. In light of the Iranian regime's weaknesses and crisis, if the P5 plus 1 had adopted a decisive policy, the regime would have had no choice but to abandon its nuclear projects altogether. 
However, the biggest weaknesses in this agreement and the outcome of the policy of appeasement vis-à-vis the Iranian regime is silence on the issue of human rights and repression in Iran and the Mullah's hegemonic uh, ambitions in the region. But history has shown that uh, appeasing uh, fascist regime will have catastrophic consequences. Neither appeasing the regime nor investing uh, in its internal factions offers a solution. War is not the uh, alternative to uh, appeasement. The alternative is regime change in Iran by the Iranian people and their resistance. This is the only guarantee for resolving the Mullah's nuclear crisis. As such, in the present circumstances, we stress on the need for a responsible, decisive policy vis-à-vis the Iranian regime, the most serious regional and global threat today. The elements of this policy are, first, uh, blocking all the pathways and uh, loopholes which enable the mullahs to obtain the bomb. Second, uh, recognizing the Iranian people's desire to topple the religious fascism in Iran and establish democracy and a popular rule. Third, uh, expelling the Iranian regime, its uh, revolutionary guards, corps, and the terrorist boats force from the entire region, especially from Iraq and Syria. I would like to use this opportunity to express my gratitude for the efforts of and positions uh, taken by the honorable members of the U.S. Congress in defense of the Iranian resistance members in Camp Liberty and in defense of the Iranian people's human rights and freedom, as well as your efforts to dismantle the ominous and uh, anti-Iranian nuclear program of the Mullah's regime and confronting its terrorism and regional aggressive policies. Thank you and God bless you all.